show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am that British guy and welcome back to my retro playthroughs. Now I was in the middle of a Micro Machines V3 playthrough, however when I went back to the game to try and get a bit more um, footage, it wasn't behaving particularly uh, as I was expecting and uh, kept kind of freezing every now and then so I'm not entirely sure what's going to be happening with that little series um, sort of going forward but I wanted to get some retro uh, game footage for you this week and I went through my kind of older and slightly more obscure games and I found this who wants to be a millionaire for PlayStation 1. I think this was actually a game that my aunt and uncle were gifted to my nan and granddad years and years ago and somehow I've ended up acquiring it. Um, I've not actually ever played it before so let's see what's what and see how good my memory is from a game that's probably about 15 or 20 years old. So uh, let's let's see if I can get a million. That's great. Are you playing? Right. Just so, me. Just you, me, and the computer. Uh, can I have your name, please? Yep. I'll keep that name. I did a quick practice go, well, so I don't need the instructions. Don't instructions uh, let's managed play. to get what did I, I got up to sixty-four, and then got it wrong so I went home with 32 so right yeah. here we go you're 15 All questions right. away from 1 million pounds and if you're ready to play Let's have see. a look at this for 100 pounds 100 pounds what is the capital really wow well done nice and easy but 100 <laughs> I mean at least the other ones were capitals but Here's question two, it's worth two. They'll all be that easy. Which phrase means a vivid description in writing? I've never heard of that, any of all right, take well, your time. You I've heard of word time. play as a phrase, I've heard of word perfect as a awesome. phrase. A vivid description. I guess a okay, word picture. Are you happy? Yeah. It's right, you've got it have to be. Pounds. Yeah. I've never heard of that phrase though. A word picture. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. Which word means a youth in attendance at a wedding? That would be a page boy. So you're saying B. I don't know why it's a page boy, but it's a page boy. You're absolutely right for 300 pounds. Right, you're 12 questions away from a minute. Come on. 500 pounds. Take give, me, your time. give me another Have easy one. With which product would Ericsson... Huh, none now. Sony Ericsson's were mobile phones. Right, take your time, you still got all... So you're saying it's... Oh, actually, this predates even when they were owned by Sony. Correct, you've got 500 quid. Well Jeez, done. I used to have a Sony Ericsson phone. But it was a Sony Ericsson and not just an Ericsson. All three lifelines. Jeez, if you need what's going to be next? Cellnet. Right, just be careful. Uh, this is the last what else is really old that doesn't exist anymore? Absolutely nothing. You it's are now BT Cellnet, and then that was O2. Pounds. This is worth one thousand pounds. Here it comes. Motorola. Oh, they still make them, don't they? Molasses is produced by. Uh, Molasses is produced by Just the be aware, processing the of which food. You could go away with absolutely nothing. So take as long as you need. I should know this. I look up blooming ingredients on for, uh, for work. Um, I th think it's coffee, but I'm not sure. I want to do that just to check. I think it's coffee okay, right. though. Using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. All vote. I'm pretty now. sure it's coffee. Well, now they seem oh. very confident it's A. 
they think well, it's Well, that's sugar. an overwhelming indication from the audience, but what does it indicate? You don't have to go along with their answer. It's entirely up to you. Well, I guess I better add, really. Two-thirds right. Or two-thirds that. Are you absolutely yeah, let's go sure. with it. You seem pretty sure. You're right to be sure. You just won a thousand Boom, pounds. I have some money. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was coffee. I was convinced. I'm really glad I did that now because I was convinced it was coffee. Oh well. Knee mind. Thousand pounds, if only. That would be quite nice right about now. Look at that. No Chris Tarrant, no in the bag contender, but let's try and double that no one. other Next contenders question. waiting to get in, in. no one in the audience. You're guaranteed 1,000, this one is for 2,000 pounds. That's weird. Let's make it as realistic as possible by like having it in the studio with all the things down the side, and but let's not actually put any pictures of... Oh, I know this one. Who plays Dot Cotton? June Brown. You're going for I think that's D. probably played now. You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. Also, she's no, the only one there that's actually a person, so that's helpful. Two thousand. Come on. See, that was so much easier than the coffee sugar one. Yeah, there we go. Empty you studio again. You are now just again. nine questions away from Ooh, one million pounds questions. and starting to look Can at some of the bigger jumps. But remember, the drops are pretty See, steep. I never understood Take as well this. why they wrote the one million as one million and not one with all the zeros there. They wrote all the other ones down with all the zeros and just one million. What is the capital of New Zealand? Ah, uh, Wellington. Yeah, Wellington. You're going for D. It's the right answer. Yes. You've got four thousand pounds. Well done. Oh, your first instinct. As soon as I saw Auckland, there, I started doubting myself. Come on, what's the capital of Australia? Give me that one. Know that one. Canberra. Come on. The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the fifteen correct answers you need for one million pounds. Good luck. Thank you. Here it comes for eight thousand. Eight thousand. Cool. With no Chris Tarrant, no other person in the. That they could have at least like given me an option of various avatars there. The core actually belongs to which family of instruments? Ah, oh, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Not even a Scooby. So this question is for eight thousand pounds. You don't have to play this. Just be aware that a wrong answer would cost you three thousand of the four thousand pounds you've got at this moment. Let's phone my friend. Okay, you've chosen the phone I've a friend. Got no now, let's idea. Call them up. But so just remember, you don't have to take their. Depends opinion. how kind the computer's being with the answer they give me. Hi Lisa, it's Chris oh, Tarrant hi, from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi Chris. Well, we're halfway to a million pounds. Hi, your friend now really needs your help to propel them into the serious money. No problem, Chris. Oh, Lisa, she's Welsh, no problem. This? Right, here's the Great. question. There is just one correct answer. Now, I know this. The core angle is a larger, deeper version of the oboe. Best of luck. Oh, it's a larger, deeper version Lisa, of an oboe. Thank you very much. Oh, that's lovely. Well, now, Lisa, light answer A, but remember that doesn't mean I'm going with it. I'm gonna it? trust the Welshy that she sings in a choir and she oh, knows I'd oboes. Love to say you just won eight thousand pounds, and I can. You yes. have just won eight thousand pounds. <laughs> well, on Lisa, whoever you are. Oh, I know this one. I do. Lovely. Cheers, Welshy. You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct Come answer on. to the Come on, give me an easy one. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Give me an easy one. Come on. 
What colour are the flowers of the labourer? Oh, am I? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. The name. Now at this point you could obviously walk away with £8,000 or you could risk losing £7,000 and play the next question. Let's see what 50-50 does. Okay, time to go 50-50. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So, it looks like it's A or D. <sighs> they were kind of the ones I was thinking most likely. pounds well you haven't any more I'm sorry but that's the wrong answer you just lost seven thousand pounds it's D damn it let's try that's once fine. more I don't know why, but I Good first luck. thought no, yellow, yeah, and I'm annoyed that I didn't stick with that, pounds. but I was convinced it wasn't blue, so I was hoping that it was going to give me a colour and blue, and then I could have gone for the other colour. Fire of London. It's good, you've got £100. Have a look at this, it's worth £200. <sighs> A fib. It's correct, you've got 200 quid. Come on, let's get through this bit. Now, quickly. here's question number three. Come on, 300 pounds. hurry up. Which animals are known as swine? Pigs. You've got 300 pounds. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. Don't say sure that. You won't, and I hope you don't. But Come have on. a look at this next one. It's worth All right. 500 pounds. Let's get to the thousand. In which country was the trade union solidarity All right, founded? take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. How is that a 500 pound quick? I don't know. Not a clue. How on earth is that one of the easier questions? All vote now. Well, they're sure the answer is B. Well, then I'll have to go with B. Well, that's an overwhelming indication from the audience. How on what earth are you meant to know that? Have to go along with their answer, it's entirely up to you. Or nobody in the audience because it's empty. I can't even remember what answer B was. Was that Spain? Oh, Poland. Mm hmm. You don't have to play this. Oh, I'll go with it. Is that your final answer? That's the right answer for five hundred pounds. How is that five hundred pound question? That's ridiculous. You could have asked that You've for hundred and twenty-five thousand. Right Fifty-fifty and phone a friend. Now the next question guarantees you a thousand. That cannot be common knowledge amongst answer. most people. Have a look at this. She sounds Romanian, so I think it's gymnastics. 
Just be aware this is the last point. Are you confident? No. If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least one thousand pounds. Well done, it is oh. the right answer. So this is where this game being nearly 20 years old does not help. Does not make things easy. It's probably in the news all the time then. Not that I'm a big gymnastics so fan congratulations. now. You're now so guaranteed a thousand pounds no matter what happens. Okay, going on. Question right. six is for So I've at least equaled last time. But I've already used a lifeline up. Because I didn't know about Polish trade union names. Where is Monte Carlo? Mono go. You're going for D. Thank you, Formula One, for teaching me that. You've just won two thousand pounds. See, make them kind of sport related or where I can use sport as the answer. Because that's helpful. You're doing brilliantly. You've got £2,000, but take a look at this you next question 2, for £4,000. Try and answer this one and you'll get more £1,000. Which type of dancing features in the title of a hip? Dirty dancing! So you're saying B? <laughs> I'm saying B because it's, it's correct. Right answer, you've got four thousand pounds. Ghost pound. well dancing. Done. Four thousand. What was I on? What was I on four last time? I can't remember. I know he ended up with one. Doodly 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 doodly. Right, don't ask me about you've flowers. Fifty-fifty and phone a friend. Okay, going or on. Or trade unions. For eight thousand pounds. Take your time on this, you don't have or to. Or instrument play. families. Come on. Which country was ruled by good King Wenceslas? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. There's a song, but I don't know it. Hopefully my okay, friend does. Friend. Now let's call whoever my friend me, is. Don't have to go along with what they say. Hi, hello. Hello, Steve. It's Chris Terran here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Why, I, Chris? Oh, well, we're halfway from to a million pounds, but your oh, friend no, now really needs either. your help to propel them into the serious money. I'll give it my best shot. I'll try, you know. Nice and straightforward. Just give I'll, us the right I'll give answer. Best shot, Lake. No pressure at all. Don't know. It was hungry or something. I think. It Steve, was hungry or Thank something. You know. I now, you think. you can go along with Steve's choice D, or you can make up your own mind. Are you yeah, I'll go with Steve. Come on, Steve. I'd love to say you've just won £8,000, but I'm afraid you haven't. I'm so sorry. It's the wrong answer. Steve! The answer is B. Damn you, Steve! <sighs> well, you've won yourself a Ah, oh, Well, that didn't. Quite. I didn't even manage to top the leaderboard. Ugh, never mind. I did get £32,000 once when I practiced it, I promise. Just to check the gameplay and stuff. But hey, there we go. Two £1,000 finishes. Probably should have walked away with the money each time. But damn you, Steve. Is that the same Steve that only won 500 Well, there we go. That was me failing at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Um, I will hopefully be back soon with some more retro gameplay. I'm not sure uh, quite what direction to take things in. If you've got any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, as I said, I will be back with something. But until then, I've been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.